seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have me, Sacred Stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother... Christmas haul video but it's deck the halls because this is not just one haul this is actually a series of lush haul crawls that I've done to accumulate this amount of lush Christmas products Shh. so are you ready are you ready rock steady let's go <laughs> shout out and thank you to all of you guys who've been watching my channel this year it really means so much to me and I just want you to know that it's been a really special year for me so this year I didn't have a lot of spare extra cash so I had to accumulate my lush haul over about five trips to lush so I'm kind of calling it deck the halls or uh, my lush haul crawl because I've done it over so many trips to lush but I just wanted to do it this way because it's more economical of course because you know I'm on a budget uh, a lot of us are on a budget, but it's a fun way to do it anyway because it's not just one big treat. It's like little treats all the time. Yay! <laughs> I'm sure the uh, staff at my local lush shop are well used to seeing me pop in there to get the odd treat or two for my Christmas collection. So thank you, local lush. Love you guys. So today I'm going to go through all of the products that I've accumulated uh, so far from the uh, Lush Christmas collection this year. This year, oh my god, Lush have spoiled us rotten by releasing like about a billion Lush products for Christmas. Thank you Lush! So um, yeah, I have availed myself of some of such products. <laughs> Alright, should we get started? Yes, yes, yes! So here are all my Lush haul products. Right. So let's get started with one of the falling. Oh my god, something's fallen out. <laughs> There's just not enough room for everything basically on my table. Ah, uh, yeah. Anyhow, <laughs> so I'm gonna show you some of the products I've already used first. So first cab off the rank is Santa's Christmas. Now part of this massive haul that is really just lots of little hauls was from the UK and this was one of the things I got from the UK. So um, when they first released them on their website, you know, on their online site. So Santa's Christmas, it is a shower cream, which basically just means a thick, more moisturizing shower gel. Um, and it smells like vanilla Coke. <gasps> Ooh, so tasty. <laughs> I do like the smell, but like not enough to go and buy a million of them. You know what I'm saying? So it's not really like my favorite ever Christmas product. Like it'll be fun to use this year, but I'm not gonna be like pining and crying when it goes. So anywho, first cab off the rank is Santa's Christmas shower cream. All right, and while we're on uh, showery type products, this is Berry Berry Christmas Shower Gel. Now this one, lots of people are comparing to Plum Rain, and it is a little bit like Plum Rain. Yeah, kinda, kinda sorta, you know? Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's got, it is a berry shower gel, but it's kind of a light kind of fragrance. It's very fresh. I think for us here in the Southern Hemisphere, when we have such a hot Christmas, Actually, Berry Berry Christmas is good for us because it's kind of a light, kind of refreshing smell. So I do like it for that reason. But again, oh, it's hard to say. Look, it's one of those ones. This might grow on me, I think. I've got a feeling I'll regret not buying more of it. But right now, it's not like grabbing me. So uh, I'm not going to be buying uh, Berry Berry Christmas and stocking up on it. But oh, maybe I'll regret it. <laughs> okay, next in the shower products. Now... <laughs> One of the ones I've used is the solid version of the Bucks Fizz body conditioner. So I'd just like to show you the before and after. So I did go and buy another new one and this is the one that I've used already. <laughs> I have to say, I didn't think I'd be a fan of these solid body conditioners, but they've actually won me over. So, anywho, let's show you one before. Um, unfortunately, here in Australia, and especially today, it's like 30 plus degrees Celsius, so it's a very hot day here today. 
I have turned my air conditioner off in the background because it kind of buzzes, but I'm a little bit worried about these solids. So let's get them filmed and back in the fridge. <laughs> um, I will say, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, please, for the love of God, store these solids in the fridge. And anything solid like massage bars or scrubby, scrub bars, etc., put them in the fridge because people, they're going to melt 100%. So let's open it. Yay! So basically these have been wrapped up until I filmed this video because I wanted to reopen them and re-experience them with you guys. Yes. Okay, so. Ooh. So here is, oh, it's so melty. <laughs> um, this is the Bucks Fist Solid Body Conditioner. Now, as you can see, it is already melting all over my hands because it's just too hot here, people. It's too hot. So in Australia, please keep your solids in the fridge. Like any naked product, I would suggest popping them in the fridge because otherwise you're gonna come home to a puddle of boxes on the bottom of your bathroom. <laughs> Anyhow, that was the before. I can't pick it up again. And this is the after. I have used it quite a lot of time, so I'm happy in that regard, but I am leaning towards the ones in the tubs here in Australia just for longevity's sake because I'm really nervous about them melting, sadly. Mm. Now I'm gonna have to go and get a tissue and wipe this off. <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh, while I'm getting up, I'll show you my t-shirt. Look, <gasps> it's a flamingo! Okay, now that I'm clean again. Right, okay, so. Seriously, that is, that is gonna have to go straight in the fridge. That is not cool, that is not cool. Okay, so let's do this quick <laughs> before the whole lot melts. The Snow Fairy Naked Body Conditioner. I'll open this one up as well, fingers crossed, so I don't melt this one to myself. Ooh, this one's a little bit more solid, thankfully. So this is the Snow Fairy version of the Solid Body Conditioner. The idea behind these is that you rub them on your skin while you're in the shower. So you use your shower gel or your soap and you wash yourself. Then you rub this on your skin and then you just rinse it off gently and then just pat your skin dry so that you keep some of the moisture on your skin. Kind of like hair conditioner is for your hair, but it's for your body. So it's like putting moisturizer on in the shower before you get out, if that makes sense. So. They are fabulous, they do smell really good. I will say though that the Snow Fairy one, I'm definitely smelling the cocoa butter coming through very strongly. If you like the cocoa butter smell, that's good. So if you like chocolate and Snow Fairy, you might like this. Uh, it's still really good, but the cocoa butter is quite strong. Just saying. Okay, so now they're in the fridge. <laughs> Um, I'll show you the Bucks body conditioner in the tub. So those ones were the naked versions. Lush have been um, trying to create naked as in unpackaged versions of a lot of their products, which is great, bravo, good work Lush. Um, here in Australia that creates some challenges of course because here the temperature is so hot that a lot of the products will melt. Uh, so yeah, yeah. So if you're in Australia, you might want to go for a tub or any kind of warm climate. For you guys who are in the Northern Hemisphere, who are in cooler climates, then of course NECA products should be perfectly fine unless you're putting it above your radiator <laughs> or something, uh, but otherwise, yeah. Also, you can get them in tubs. So this is the Bucks Fizz Body Conditioner in a tub. It's cute because, oh, you can't really see it. They put a little bit of gold on top. Smell is great. This is totally yumbo. If you like kind of golden wonder bath bomb or you like anything that smells kind of like champagne, kind of, because Bucks Fizz, I think, is a champagne cocktail. It smells really citrusy and um, it's got the same smell as a lot of the Celebrate products. So it's very yummy. Again, fabulous here in our summer because we're in the warm summer months. Months, I find that I go for more citruses and mints and things like that. So I love Bucks Fizz because it fits in with that. Same smell as the bubbly shower gel. Um, I didn't buy a bubbly shower gel as yet because I stashed about five of them away last Christmas and I'm still on my last one. Although I should, I should get one to put away at least because I do really like it. It's a beautiful smell. So that is the Bucks Fizz body conditioner, same smell as the bubbly shower gel and golden wonder bath bomb. Okay, so I've gone a little bit crazy for shower gel is this here. When I say crazy, I just mean to. Uh, normally I wouldn't have bought these little shower jellies, but 
I am into blending them now. So because I blend my shower jellies, I find them much easier to use. So by that, I mean I literally put the jelly in a blender and blend it up. And then I just put it back into the container, blend it up. Sometimes you can add things like a little drop of oil or two to kind of make it more moisturizing. Or I've also added sugar in the past to turn them into a scrub. So they are very versatile if you do blend them. And it's a good way to use them if you're like me and you're clumsy and you tend to drop them down the sink. <laughs> I don't worry about that now because then I blend them up. So anywho, uh, so Santa's belly is a shower jelly that basically does look like Santa's belly. I'll show you. It's a little bit easy though. Um, anywho, can she get it out? Ah, it's oozing in the bottom a bit, but anyhow. Okay, so this is Santa's <coughs> Santa's belly. Uh, looks like my hands are bleeding, but hey, it's basically like a little. <laughs> can you see that? <laughs> So basically, the Santa's uh, belly is like a wobbly belly and it's got like a belt buckle. It's supposed to be like Santa's belly, obviously. It's got a nice sweet smell and it's got a bit of glitter through there. I'm gonna put it down now because it's making a big mess. <laughs> One moment, please, while I go and wash my hands. Get to see the t-shirt again. <laughs> right. <laughs> so even though that's a little bit messy, I will blend it up and it will be super easy to use. And the smell is phenomenal. I love the smell. It's kind of sweet and Christmassy and you know, all those things. So yeah, and a bit sparkly. So lots to like about the Santa Belly. It's only little, but apart from that, it's fantastic. <laughs> so that's the Santa's Belly Shower Jelly. Next, next is the Snowman Shower Jelly. And uh, as you can guess, it has a snowman shake, which is awesome. Let's see what shape he's in though. Um, He's all folded up in there. Poor snowman, let's let him out. So can I get him out without breaking him? Woo! It's all slippery. This one's all oozing as well. What's going on? I don't know. I think it's just the heat. Okay, so this is a snowman, basically. Oh God, it's going everywhere. It's like, I can't hang on to it. Hang on. Oh God. Okay, just trust me, it looks like a snowman. I'll show you guys a picture of the one in the store while I go and wash my hands. <laughs> T-shirt! <laughs> and I'm back. <laughs> Alright, so for whatever reason, my jellies are a little bit oozy uh, this year, but uh, anywho, it smells like Flopsy. So if anyone liked the Easter um, face jelly wash thingy, um, I think it's called Flopsy. Anyhow, the one that looks like a rabbit at Easter time, you will like the snowman shower jelly because it smells the same. What else have I got? Okay, so bath products. Um, I've bought a few of the bath products. I'm having less baths because it's really hot here. Uh, but anywho, I've got a couple of uh, Snow Fairy Jelly Bombs. I'm really a big fan of the Jelly Bombs. <laughs> Even though I haven't had that many baths with the Jelly Bombs, so I'm just like, ah! Because in store, they did an amazing, amazing demo for me and convinced me how amazing it is. It basically just looks like pink marshmallow fluff kind of stuff in your bath, which is awesome. Um, so let's unwrap one, darlings. Let's unwrap it. I feel like so Christmassy doing this with you guys. It's awesome. All right, so. Oh, it's so pretty. Look. Ooh. And it smells like Snow Fairy, and it's very cute. It's got a little um, star on the front. I don't know if you can see that. And now that I've shown you, I can use them. Yay! <laughs> so this is just a Christmas jelly bomb, okay? So if you like the Snow Fairy jelly bomb, you have to get it now because otherwise it will be gone. It's not staying around, okay? So I got a couple of those because, you know, flash holder. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Okay, and another bath product I got was the Luxury Lush Pod. Um, I was also very lucky and I got to see this one demoed in store the other day and it also looked fabulous. A lot of the new bath bombs have got foaming stuff in them because it makes for a better display. So if you've noticed lately, a lot of the new bath bombs, when they dissolve, there's more foam that comes out of them as well. So that is why they have upped the ante with the bath bombs and added foam to a lot of them. Shh. Secret. Okay, so the Luxury Lush Pud is beautiful because it smells pretty much more or less. 
exactly like Twilight. So if you're a fan of Twilight, the Twilight body spray now, or if you like Sleepy, or if you like the Twilight bath bomb, then you'll like Luxury Lash Put. So you know what, like I'm one of those people, I will dig down through the pile to get the absolute best bath bomb. Does anyone else do that? I'm really annoying, I know, but that's just how I am. And I've dug down to get the absolute best Luxury Lush Put, and then when I put it in the bag, the thing fell off the top. <sighs> I know, right? Anywho, all right, we'll just ignore that. We'll pretend that didn't happen. I'll hold this up so you can get an idea what it looks like. So lots of colors, it's very pretty. It's the same, like when you pop it in to the bath, or in this case it was a demo bowl, all of those colors come out as separate colors as well. They've done this very well. It used to just be like little um, confetti things on the outside, I think, but now they've next level the Luxury Lush Hood, and basically these are like tiny miniature little bath bombs built in to this bath bomb, and as it dissolves, you get all the different colors. So it's very, very cool, and it smells good as well. So you know, win-win. I'm making such a big mess. All right, let's move on to bubble bars, okay? Which is Lush's version of bubble bath, if you've never heard of them before. So bubble bars are basically like a solid bubble bath that you crumble up to dissolve under the water as it's running. So while you're running the bath, you crumble them up under the water and they turn into bubbles. So that's what this is. Now this is Man in the Moon bubble bar. Smells like Calicus or Calacus, which is basically my favorite Lush smell in the world. Yes, in the world. Um, <laughs> it's like a citrusy, fun, sweet smell, and I absolutely love it. Um, so this is the bubble bar, which has that smell this year. Funnily enough, now, there is a vintage connection with this bubble bar that you may not know about. Um, there was a film in the early 1900s called The Voyage to the Moon, and in French it was called something like Le Don de la Lune. I, I'm getting it really wrong. Anyway, I'll pop it down below. That had a moon in it, and in it a spaceship comes from the Earth and crashes into the eye of the man in the moon, and that's what this is. Cool, huh? Fun fact, fun fact. Anyhow, this one is one I got from the UK, from the online store in the UK, and it smells really good. I just wanted to show you, this is the UK one, and now I've got one here from Australia as well, because I know it's fun. It's fun to see what they look like. They're slightly different all around the world, only slightly, um, but yeah. Now, unfortunately, this one's Mo has broken, oh, God. I'm making it worse. Ignore the broken moustache, because I did that just now. <laughs> But it's interesting because, look, they are quite different. I'm gonna pop them up, ready? Check it out. So this one is the Australian one, this one is the UK one. So the UK gets a bigger spaceship and a thicker, a much thicker moustache. <laughs> and it looks like a thicker eye as well, which is interesting. The Australian one is thicker though, look. Much thicker through the body for the Australian one though. So we get more of the actual yellow part by the looks of things. Um, less moustache <laughs> and less of the spaceship. Unless I've just squashed it further into his head, which is disturbing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the UK one has a thicker moustache, a little bit thinner through the yellow part, and a kind of a bigger, chunkier eye. So there you go, fun facts kids. Australian one versus UK one. They smell great and smell like calicus, so you know. <laughs> Happy kitty. So yeah, that is the difference. Moving right along. So next in the bubble bars is plum snow. Let's open plum snow. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Here it is. <gasps> oh! So this is plum snow. It actually smells really strong. And you know what's weird? Because I know it's meant to smell like plum rain, but it does smell spicier than plum rain to me. So that's a bit confusing. Anyway, it's a nice giant big bubble bar. And I think that's cool because, talk about value for money. Like look at the size of that. You'd get at least four baths probably out of that. So good value for money. And it kind of smells more Christmassy than I thought in the store. So there you go. Because yeah, I'm not really even, I'm getting a bit of plum rain, but more I'm getting kind of like spice. Like maybe even like, cardamom or something. Anyhow, hmm, fun fact, weird. I don't know why, but yes, this is Plum Snow. It's a bubble bar and it is part of the Christmas tree. Okay, next is Candy Mountain. Wah! Okay, so Candy Mountain is for all of you who love the smell of sweets. If you're a lolly kind of candy person, you're gonna love this. 
But yeah, it's pretty. It's kind of got little, kind of, it's got luster through it now, I think. It never used to have luster through it, so that's cool. So I can't wait to try this in the bath and see if we get the luster kind of like, you know, the swirls of kind of luster in the bath. That would be awesome because luster plus bubbles is fun. Uh, normally you see more luster with like bath bombs, but there's been more and more luster coming with the bubble bars. So if like, for example, with the man in the moon, he's actually got gold kind of luster all over him as well. I'm seeing luster on this. It's looking a bit iridescent and it reminds me a bit of the unicorn horn. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, so yes, that one is very sweet. If you like sweet things, you'll like this. Cool. Oosh. That's not good. Stop dropping things. All right, next, my two front teeth. Oh my, so I had to get that one, seriously. So this is the one that everyone's doing this with, right? Because it's a mouth and teeth, then you have to do it because it's part of what you have to do. So yeah, anyhow, it's got a nice smell. There's a bit of lavender in there, which I'm sort of getting, uh, I don't know. <laughs> But it's more about how cute it is. Basically, I just bought this because it was adorable and I had to have it to be able to do this. So, you know. <laughs> now that is done. So, you know, moment achieved. Yes, uh, anyhow, right. Moving right along. Uh, next, I have got both, uh, both of the sparkle jars. Uh, so I've got the Snow Fairy Sparkle Jar and the Twilight Sparkle Jar. Basically what these are are massage bars molded into the shape of a little container and then inside is sparkly powder that you can put onto yourself to look very festive. Now some very clever people have been melting down the sparkle jar, the jar part of it, uh, or maybe the whole thing, and creating a solid massage bar out of it. So you can of course do that with these if you want to, um, or you can keep them as they are. So let's open them up and have a look. So I have to of course stress once again, if you're in a hot climate, please for the love of God put these in the fridge. Although I have to say these have been faring better than the body conditioners in my house. So this is the Snow Fairy one. As you can see, it's adorable. It's a little container of fairy dust basically and it smells like snow fairy although again a little bit chocolatey because that um, cocoa butter in there is coming through as well now the idea behind these is that you poke a hole through one of these holes and then you sprinkle it out right and the lush staff recommended to me in my local store to only put one hole in don't put two holes in because if you put two holes more too much will come out so just do one hole because if you do two holes too much will come out so please only kind of just do one but I'm actually getting powder coming out of somewhere. There's like a little hole in the side. So I'm gonna stop shaking this around because I'm losing my dust. You can sort of see, well, there's actual dust on my table mixed with fairy dust. Um, I'm gonna just put that on myself because you know, waste not, what not. Um, but yeah, I can feel it kind of already melting, touching my skin, so I'm gonna put it down. We'll move on to the Twilight Sparkle Jar. Ooh, now this smells much better and much stronger than the Snow Fairy one does, so that's interesting. Maybe I bought it after that one, I don't know. But again, same principle, you poke a hole through one of the holes and then it sprinkles out like a little shaker. And then you can rub, these are designed so you can basically rub them on your skin um, and they melt and you get the moisture kind of on your skin and then you can put the sparkle on um, and you get you know, best of both well. Yeah, that smells good. The Twilight one is definitely stronger, so interesting. Okay, fun facts. When I used to work at Lush, we used to do a thing like a demo thing called Hollywood Arms. And what we would do is put like massage bar on someone's skin and then put a dusting powder on top. And that was called Hollywood Arms. So I actually think that that could be part of where the sparkle jar idea came from because it's like those two elements put into one product. So there you go, fun facts. <laughs> All right, I'm cracking through it, I'm cracking. All right, next. I've got a couple of these. They are the salt and peppermint bark. So the salt and peppermint bark body scrubs. I love these. They're in my top, like top uh, products of all time basically. So this is what it looks like. So salt and peppermint bark smells so good. It smells like a peppermint candy cane, basically. It's fabulous. And I absolutely love these. So I've got two and I'm ordering them as long as I can. I love this because it's a great body scrub and also it just smells amazing. If you're using the Chris Tingle body conditioner, it would work perfectly with this. Or if you're a fan of Dirty or Intergalactic, you would love the salt and peppermint bark 
scrub. The only thing I'd say, just be a little bit careful, is because the scrub part of it is salt, you have to be careful if you've got any cats or scratches, you might not even know are there. So for example, I've got cats. So sometimes my cats would jump up like on my shoulders or something, you know, come crawling over like this. And I don't even know I've got little cuts and scratches on my shoulders until I use my salt and peppermint bark and then I go, ah, you know, in the shower because the salt has gone into my skin. So it's one of those ones, scrub and then wash off the salt straight away and you'll be fine. Um, but don't let that worry you because it is a fantastic scrub, smells amazing like candy canes and it's not to be missed. But might need to go in the fridge as well. <laughs> right, well, we're getting down in the bottom of our stash. Oh, so sad. Here I have the Once Upon a Time Body Lotion. Now this smells very similar, if not almost exactly the same, almost, uh, as the So White fragrance, which has been in Lush Land for quite a while. There has been a So White bath bomb, and also there is a So White shower gel in the Lush kitchen at the moment for December. It's basically a beautiful fresh apple smell. Now there is a slight difference between the body lotion in the tub and the solid kind of naked version. I didn't buy the solid version of this one. I have got the tub because I tend to not use my lotions very quickly, so I thought it would be safer to have it in a tub, but damn, it smells fine. <laughs> it's a beautiful light fragrance, so it's not too overpowering. It's fresh and apple-y and a little bit Christmassy as well. So yep, yum, yum, yum. Good enough to eat. Basically smells like when I make an apple smoothie. So I make these apple smoothies that are just like apples and a little tiny bit of water, blend it up in my Nutribullet thing, and I just like eat it, kind of like a fresh apple sauce. It's amazing. It smells like that. So yeah, yum. I've only got a little one. I know I'm gonna regret it, but then I survived on Sleepy um, last year, just a little one like this the whole year. I don't even know how, but I've still got some left. So I thought, all right, well, I've still got Sleepy left from last year. I should just get a little once upon a time, but hopefully I won't regret that, so. Next is the Bouche de Noël. This is the Christmas face cleanser slash I call it a scrub. They've got scrub in them, you know. I don't know why they persist in calling these things cleansers when clearly they are scrubs. This is the Bouche de Noël Fresh Cleanser. Only lasts three months, unless you mean you hoard them for about three years in your fridge. Shh. <laughs> ah, it smells so good. It's not really like a strong smell, but it's like a nice food smell. And if you go in the store, um, I'll put a picture up so you can see what it looks like. This one is actually wrapped up in seaweed, but has like gold luster on it of leaves to make it look like a Christmas log cake. So very cool. It's got things in it like satsumas, but here in Australia we have mandarins in our one. Um, kind of same thing, but you know, it's because I don't think we really get satsumas here very much. So they put mandarin in ours instead. So there's a slight difference between ours and the UK or other versions um, and it's very good it's a nice face cleanser it's similar to angels on bare skin so if you use that already you'll probably be good with Bush to Noel it's good for most skin types but might not be enough for people who have oilier skin it's kind of very foody you know it makes me want to eat it Ow. Now this isn't officially part of the Christmas collection, but they are yet to confirm if this is going to stay. So I'm going to put it in this video in case it's not staying, okay? So this is the Twilight Body Spray. Again, same fragrance as the Twilight Sparkle Jar and Sleepy and the Twilight Shower Gel. So, you know, very popular. It's kind of a mixture of lavender and tonka, which is like a vanilla smell, and it's beautiful. Not only am I using this as a body spray, I'm also using it as a room spray at the moment, and it does help me sleep, I'm sure, um, because of that lavender in there. It smells amazing, and it's the same smell as Sleepy, and a lot of people have reported good results getting Sleepy with Sleepy, uh, so I thought, why not use the Twilight for that as well? So this is kind of like a dual purpose product for me. Sometimes I spray myself with it as a body spray and sometimes I just spray it around my bedroom to make it smell amazing and to help me sleep. So, you know, you can't get better than that. All right, now, lucky last, there is the Shades of Gold, Frankincense and Myrrh. Oh, this is so cute. It's a solid luster lip block. Uh, I'll show you. Hopefully it won't melt on me though. This weather, my gosh. It is a bit melty, so I won't hold it for long. So the idea behind this is that you can use it kind of on your face, on your lips, to give yourself that kind of golden glow. And of course, being the fussy, obsessive person that I am, I'm so funny, I picked the absolute best one out of the bunch. <laughs> Literally, like as soon as they put them out that day, I was like, right. 
dig, 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 get the best one. And I looked at all of them, every single one, and I picked the best one, so you know. That's what I'm like. <laughs> so things I haven't bought this year so far are things like Chris Tingle Body Conditioner, you know, Rose Jam, Snow Fairy, Twilight. The reason for that is because here in Australia, we had them for Christmas in July, some of those products. And also I'm just a hoarder. So some of them I've, I've already been hoarding from last Christmas and the one before or something stupid like that. Uh, plus also I bought a lot of the Christmas products that were available in July here in Australia. So I've still got them from July. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it. They are my lush Christmas hauls. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun for me to collect and uh, a lot of fun it will be to use, finally, yay! <laughs> now I've filmed and I can use it, that's kind of my rule. Once again, thank you to all of you guys for making it such a wonderful year and I hope you all have an amazing, amazing uh, Christmas or um, holiday season and that you also have an amazing new year. Let me know what you got too for your Christmas hauls in the comments below. I'd love to know what you guys picked from the huge, huge, huge Lush range this year. <laughs> if you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to, that would be the absolute most amazing thing and I would really appreciate it. Of course, all you have to do is hit subscribe and then just hit the bell if you want to know when I upload new videos as well. You guys have a fabulous Christmas, holiday period and New Year's Eve and I will catch you all again really soon. Bye!